Yes, hello my dear students at Near East University. I'm here, I'm going to repeat the lecture uh, related to how to design this bridge, how to make a model, the solid model of this bridge in, in AutoCAD 3D. Uh, the file, you can find it in the description down below or in your university web page. So first thing you have to do, you want to make sure that you're working in different layers. So I have three layers here for the bridge. I go to the body of the bridge, 3D bridge. I made your job much easier because the most difficult part about modeling something like that is just to the wireframe so if you manage to do the wireframe the rest is just uh, just work you know so I already made the polyline around this so I select the polyline press ext or you go here to tone button and you find the extrude here and you snap to the other side so we have the bridge and now we have these hangers uh, you can go ahead and uh, uh, like uh, add as much detail as you want to this 30 centimeter xd here we have to type minus 30 to go to the other part uh, to the other side otherwise you have to move it i've already made another uh, uh, i've already made another one here so i mean this is okay you can add as much detail as you want for example if you don't want it to look like this you can you can go ahead and like uh, uh, in the solid modeling i did mention this before you can fill it this so for filleting you just Pick an edge, press enter, and just add a di radius. So let's say, I don't know, this was 30, so let's say maybe 50, uh, if it works. Maybe it's too much, let's say 20. Or you can just shift it here. Okay, so, I mean, uh, let's move this, let's copy it, so. We have the same stuff here and here and just get rid of the previous one yes so and I go to Union I select all these the, these three and I say okay now let's have them as one object all right so this is good now uh, I copy this pick it from this point and put it wherever these things are if you know exactly what you're doing, you can even use array if there are too many of those and you don't want to copy it one by one and make yourself like subject to uh, error. So you can do it one by one uh, or you can do it all at once. It's up to you. This is just to practice uh, solid modeling basically. So let's say we have um, something else here. Uh, you can basically do a mirror, but just for the sake of practice, I will do the whole bridge. Let's say. Uh, 70 this minus uh, 70 there uh, this is for practice I mean uh, you can basically do half of it if you want to do it like in a smart way if you want to do it smart way you can do half of it and then just uh, uh, mirror it from the top okay so now the bridge is basically okay I'll make a set of uh, I'll make a set of uh, these uh, circles later on for the cables because we have to provide a, a profile for the cables. But first, let me extrude this one as well. Okay, this much. Let me extrude this out. Let's say forty. For the sake of practice, I'm not going to use mirror so you get familiar uh, uh, this was minus 40 so uh, be careful about that select it xt minus 40 now I go you have you have to you have to change these viewports uh, quite often just to make sure that you're snapping to the right place so if, if I change this now to uh, uh, 2d it's much easier for me to find the snapping point so shift down for rotation CO4 copy just like a regular uh, file. I didn't type. I changed my copy to C. That's why while making tutorial because I'm using the default uh, hotkeys. I'm often creating circles instead of copying. Uh, okay, let's say here, here, here. This looks good. Now go back to conceptual. We can see everything there. 
And this is a quick tutorial. Of course, you can add plenty more details to a bridge. Let's say we have a cable with the diameter of 33 centimeter. So I'll go ahead and put this uh, into my layer for cable. I change my active layer to cable as well. Now I need to array this because I need plenty of this. Because each time I use it, AutoCAD removes the original profile. I don't know why. It doesn't happen in any other uh, 3D program. So I use Array Classic. Uh, I'll put 10, 10, yeah, 100 of these. It's more than enough. So these are, some of you ask, what are these? These are just profiles for the cable. So for sake of practice, uh, you can use a 3D uh, polyline and do it all at once. I didn't do it because I want to. I want to show you how you can repeat the command much, much uh, like quickly, over and over again. So here, under solid uh, ribbon, you go under sweep. So you click, you pick the profile, press enter, pick the path. So again, I'm pressing enter, enter, enter. So we we start to dance with the lines. Uh, it will take some time, maybe a few minutes, just to uh, finish all the lines. Pick the line, enter, pick the path, enter. Pick the line, enter, pick the path. 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 Pick the line, enter. The path. So here, okay, now because I don't want to get the time of the people who are watching on YouTube, I will mirror this much, uh, which is actually the wise thing to do. But if, like, if you want to add more details about how this connects to here, do it before mirroring. So, first, uh, like, uh, First, let's uh, let's then let's go ahead and select all of these. Let's go to the top. Mm -hmm. So let's select all the cables. Make sure that you are not selecting anything 2D. You see, it even looks pretty okay in the, the top view. It looks very good. Okay. M I enter. Pick one of the middle points. Make sure your ortho is on. No. Go back down and our bridge is basically ready. So uh, go ahead and add more details if you want. Like for example, if I don't know if you want to have a barrier here for people or something like that, you can do it again with this uh, same with the same idea. So let's say I make something here as a kind of a barrier and I use the same uh, maybe uh, a little bit thicker or maybe I'll use the same even uh, I'm sure that I'm drawing the line properly here okay so now again sweep here enter this one okay enter let me move it up. You wait for the plus Z sign and just leave it here and just maybe you can have a copy of this. Uh, a couple of times. Just to show that you are making a barrier. If you want to add more like some of these uh, uh, something else, uh, you can go like and add more details. Like you can even use this uh, like uh, ready-made like uh, objects here let's say okay, I have something like this and then I use array to uh, uh, I'll use array to copy this like across the board uh, you have to be careful you don't want it to come into contact with this so you can you can even you can even start copying it uh, let's say these are these are important details because these are uh, they're there for a reason, like children can go and fall down. You have to you have to provide 
uh, like safety is very important. Anyway, this is not the purpose of this lesson. So I'm just uh, I'm just uh, F3 for the snap. Let me make a few and then I do them uh, in a bulk. I mean, I'm just I'm doing this really quickly here. But if you want to be precise, you have to measure. You have to see how many of these you need, and then you have to. Uh, see uh, what happens in the distance between them and uh, those kind of stuff. So let's let's pick this up. My space bar is not working properly. So okay, enter. From here, let's say to here. Let's say to here. I will remove the ones that are coming in the middle later. Okay, now this is a little bit tricky. This is also a bit tricky. Okay, I did make a mistake here. Control Z. I can use this one and just remove the duplicate later on. Anyway, so this is not the way that I do it if I want to do a professional drawing because then it doesn't make sense how it comes into contact with this uh, other element. So just, just for the sake of practice, I'm doing this like this. Uh, please forgive me. Okay, so I have all of these. And then you can group this basically. I mean, it will take some time. Like you, you can go to the, if you, want to, if you want to group it effectively, you can go to the site, make your uh, view to... Uh, to the wireframe and then you can see all of this uh, basically here and uh, this uh, red element so you can like pick it up one two oh first let's uh, first let's uh, get rid of the ones in the middle I'm just wandering around here okay or well, you know what let's keep it for now I'm trying to be a perfectionist here which is not actually uh, uh, viable now in this time frame that I have to finish this video. Okay, let's let's click this, click this. Always when you're working in 3D, work with groups. Okay, always work with groups. I mean, uh, uh, because it it make it will, it will make your job much easier. And work with window because if you just click, it will only click the one which is in the front. So let's say group, and let's say pick this group from the middle rotate it go back to our 3d make it conceptual okay looks good now I'll use loft to create the topography okay so the loft is also very easy the lines are there for you you go to solid this time you pick loft you have to pick them one by one according to the direction that you are looking for okay here Let's say this one, this one, and this one. Enter, enter, and then you have it. Uh, make sure that it is, it, it is in its own layer, so topog topography here. Uh, it will get heavier and heavier, more detail you add to it. All right, so now this, is, this looks good. This is what I want to see. Uh, if you want to print it out, just like always, Control P, you have a previous plot. Leave it as a cat. Uh, Change it to uh, high quality maximum. Uh, just like a regular 2D drawing, you have to draw, you have to draw something around it. Uh, let's change this to conceptual. Okay, it gives you something. Plot it. Give it a name. Don't worry about the preview because the preview is unrendered. When you uh, when you rend when you print it out, you see it will, it will start to look very good in the PDF file. Okay, so now this is uh, this is it. If you want, you can change your line thicknesses uh, or those other kind of stuff. I forgot to remove these circles from the side, so go ahead and like do that. And you can see we have a very good like perfectly good bridge with just solid modeling and uh, uh, some uh, some ex extruding some lines. I mean, if it, look, if it doesn't look okay, go zoom in because it is. Uh, it will look better if you zoom in. Uh, I know some of these uh, 
uh, imperfections while they're happening in the print, but I mean, it's okay. It's AutoCAD 3D. You don't us usually do this for... Uh, you do it for a very precise measurement. You're not doing it for beautiful printouts. You can move it to Lumion or any other render engine and make something much, much more. If you want to, if you want to show off in front of your teacher, you can always, when you're printing out, you can bring it, make it sketchy. Uh, you can also create a camera if you want to have a human eye perspective because this is all orthographic view. So under visualize, I did mention this. Okay, let's say you can make a camera here. Let's say create a camera. Let's say I'm standing here in this valley and I'm looking at the bridge. Okay, then I look at the camera. Double click on it. You will see how it looks. Uh, you can start playing with the target. For example, now it's looking very. It, it has to. It has to look a little bit higher than this to to be. Uh, so I'm picking this, bringing it higher and higher. You can. And you can pick your ortho to make sure that you are doing it right. Okay, we can go like uh, to the top and make sure that uh, it is uh, covering your bridge if you want to have like this this camera angle. It's because you see now it's not uh, it's not really wide enough to cover everything. So you want to really make sure uh, turn your snap off so you don't snap accidentally to something that you don't want. Uh, okay, let's say this is this is okay. Let's make it a little bit further back. Oh, looks fine. You can even check it, change it here to sketch, and you can show to you like you can showcase it. Okay, now I'm I'm doing something like this here. Uh, hidden also looks fine. I like hidden more than conceptual. Uh, if you don't want to see the lines, change it to shaded. Or shades of gray also works if you want to go for something black and white. And just like uh, similar to uh, the other stuff, when you go to print out, you can print out the render. Uh, you can print out the render view. All right, so this is it for the bridge. I will have another video for uh, kind of more uh, creating more uh, uh, complex forms. So this is it for this video. I'll have another one coming up soon. Thank you very much. I'm expecting to see this bridge soon, okay, in your submissions. Just this much. Uh, thank you very much. Let's stop this.